is quickly gaining popularity among thyroid patients for its benefits on metabolism, weight management, and cholesterol levels. And as a result, a lot of other thyroid patients are taking notice and are starting to ask questions. What is T2? Is it safe? What are the side effects? Well, today we're gonna to be talking about just that. Over the last year or so, over 10,000 thyroid patients have used my T2 supplement. So I've been able to collect a lot of data about its potential positive and potential negative side effects. And it's these side effects that I wanna share with you today so that you can determine if T2 is worth taking in your situation. But first, let's start with the basics. What is T2? T2, known as 3,5-diiodo-L-thyronine, is a thyroid hormone much like T4 or T3. The primary difference between T2 and these other thyroid hormones has to do with their function and their activity on the thyroid hormone receptor. T4, found in level thyroxine and synthroid, is primarily used as a reservoir thyroid hormone for the production of T3. T3, found in cytomel and lyothyronine, is the strongest thyroid hormone and has the most activity on the thyroid hormone receptor. And T2, which is found in over-the-counter supplements, seems to enhance the effect of T3 thyroid hormone while also exerting some direct action on the thyroid hormone receptor, albeit much weaker than T3. Each thyroid hormone does something a little bit different, which is why I strongly believe that if you are a patient with hypothyroidism, you should try to take all three. While this may be the first time you're hearing about T2, it's not a new thyroid hormone and it's been around for decades. Researchers and scientists have known about T2 for a long time. And many of you listening to this right now have probably taken T2 without even realizing it. This is because T2 is found in small amounts in thyroid medications like Armour Thyroid and other natural desiccated thyroid medications. It just so happens that over the last 10 to 15 years, T2 has been the subject of intense research for its benefits on weight loss and metabolism, where it's being studied as a potential weight loss treatment or obesity treatment. As a result, thyroid patients who still suffer from hypothyroid symptoms and weight gain find this thyroid hormone very enticing. But is T2 thyroid hormone something that is safe? Whenever somebody hears about T2 for the first time, they almost reflexively want to know whether it's safe or not. They assume because they haven't heard about it personally, there must be something wrong with it. But the reality is that most doctors aren't aware of it, so they don't bring it up to thyroid patients, simply because it's not discussed by pharmaceutical companies. And because research on this hormone is relatively new, not because it doesn't work or because it isn't safe. Believe it or not, it's actually very hard for most doctors to keep up with current research, which is why most of them on average are about 17 years behind the times. But as to the question of safety, here's what we know. For starters, there's no reason to automatically assume that T2 is somehow harmful because we know that it's created naturally by the body. So even as you are listening to this right now, your body is creating some amount of T2, which is doing its job. We also know that thyroid patients have been using T2 for over 70 years. This is because it's naturally found in thyroid medications like Armour Thyroid, NP Thyroid, and Adthyza. If there was truly a safety problem with T2, we would have seen it by now. And finally, another reason is that T2 has been available in over-the-counter supplements for a very long time as well. Until recently, most of these supplements were primarily targeted at bodybuilders and included in weight loss supplements because of T2's effect on metabolism and its potential to help with weight loss. Again, if there were truly a problem, we would have seen it by now. When you consider these factors, plus all of the available research studies, we can say with a high degree of certainty that T2 is not harmful. Having said that, no hormone and no medication is completely free of side effects, and T2 is no exception. While most people who take T2 will only experience positive side effects, there are some people who will experience negative side effects. And like all other thyroid hormones, the side effects of T2 are primarily dose dependent. In other words, the more you take, the more likely you are to experience side effects. This is completely different from pharmaceutical medications because many of these compounds are completely foreign to the body. So in some cases, any amount is enough to cause problems. That's typically not the case with T2, as most thyroid patients who take it are able to adjust their dose such that they only experience positive side effects and not any negative ones. Based on my experience of helping over 10,000 thyroid patients use T2, Here's what I found. Roughly 70 to 75% of people who take it will see a positive benefit. About 10 to 15% or so will see no discernible benefit at all. And about 10 to 15% will experience some mild negative symptom. As far as positive symptoms go, here's what most thyroid patients report. Improved body temperature, easier weight loss, more energy, a sensation of feeling more balanced, and better thyroid symptom control overall. 
Because T2 primarily targets metabolism and cellular ATP production, this is exactly what we would expect. As far as negative side effects go, some thyroid patients have reported the following. A jittery sensation, dizziness, nervous energy, increased heart rate, palpitations, insomnia, and one person reported hair loss. It's important to note though that these symptoms tend to be quite rare and can be managed by adjusting the dose downward. And because all of these symptoms tend to go away once you stop taking T2, there's virtually no harm in giving T2 a try if you are a hypothyroid patient. So what's a safe dose? Since most side effects, both positive and negative, are dose dependent, it's important to talk about how much should be used. And to do that, we have to use a combination of anecdotal experience as well as some information available from research studies. Based on these two factors, we know that a safe dose is anything less than about 300 micrograms taken every day. Problems start to arise when doses exceed 300 micrograms per day, and serious problems start to arise when dosing exceeds 800 micrograms per day. Fortunately, it's very difficult to get to these doses, because most supplements are dosed in the 100 microgram per serving range. So you need to take something like eight capsules per day for months on end to experience these side effects. Avoiding toxicity is actually pretty easy, but what's difficult is finding the minimum effective dose that should be taken for each individual. In a perfect world, I'd be able to tell you exactly how much T2 you should be taking so that it can provide you with all the therapeutic benefits you're looking for without causing any of the negative side effects that we've discussed so far. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of good data to draw on here, so we need to rely on patient experience. And based on my experience, I found that most thyroid patients experience a therapeutic benefit when taking between 100 and 200 micrograms of T2 every day. There are definitely some thyroid patients out there who are very sensitive to thyroid hormones, and these thyroid patients can probably get by with T2 dosing less than 25 micrograms per day. If you're a sensitive person listening to this right now, then you probably already know who you are, and in that case, you may want to automatically start with less T2. Right now, and based on available data, I would recommend staying away from the 300 microgram per day dosing simply because it's too close to that safety cutoff of 300 micrograms that I mentioned earlier. So should you give T2 a try? That's the question that thyroid patients ask me all the time, and here's my response. It depends on how you are feeling right now and what you're trying to achieve. If you are a thyroid patient who is feeling lousy and experiencing low thyroid symptoms despite taking thyroid medication like level thyroxine faithfully, then yeah, taking T2 is probably a good idea. Taking T2 in this setting will probably enhance the effectiveness of your thyroid medication and help you better manage your thyroid symptoms. This, I think, is the best use case for T2. To round out a thyroid medication regimen and more closely match the thyroid hormone production that the healthy thyroid gland would provide. Another reason that you may want to consider using T2 is if you are a thyroid patient who is struggling to lose weight. Given T2's impact on metabolism, cellular ATP production, muscle health, and heat production, it makes a lot of sense to use it in this setting as well. T2 isn't a magical weight loss pill, but it can enhance your metabolism and make your other weight loss therapies much more effective. If you're interested in learning more about how T2 can potentially help you lose weight, I'd recommend checking out this video next.